Good morning. It was a tough day yesterday, but I uh, had a really good sleep. I had a, a tent meal um, curry, which was really nice. And I think we'll be cracking on today. A little bit of a later start than normal, though. Um, for now, I'm going to go. Get things sorted and get ready. See you in a little bit. So we're rested and Cora's paws seem fine. I've given them a good coating of musher wax and uh, I think we're good to go. Relatively short day today, I think it's about 10 11 miles, which will be nice. Uh, we're going to head over to uh, Maze Aladdin's cave now because I could do picking up some supplies. Uh, a little bit late starting to be honest, it's half nine, usually away by about um, half seven, eight o'clock I think. But uh, anyway, it is what it is, we're going to crack on. Ooh. May's shop sells out that once and camping. There we are, Mary's farm shop. So we're just at the famous May's uh, shop and I've got a mug of coffee and I've got some carrot cake and I've got a dog who thinks both of her hair. It's an amazing shop, it really is. If you're ever on the Pennine Way, you've got to come here. And camp as well if you want. Probably not the most healthy breakfast, but that carrot cake was beautiful, freshly made. And I uh, really enjoyed a nice cup of coffee, nice mug of coffee, as opposed to a titanium pot of coffee. But uh, we're off now. It's uh, about nine miles, I think, to Pondon now. Um, I just filmed up the campsite and uh, booked ahead, so I've got no worries about getting there before pictures are gone or it's closed or anything that. So we can just take it a bit easy today. Uh, I think we need to after yesterday. It was a tough day. Just had. Uh, Tick bite. I actually felt it. Felt like there was a, a piece of grass in my sock or something uh, sticking in me shin. So I uh, had a look. A little tiny tick. So I've got it off and uh, just put a little bit of alcohol gel on it to, to clean where it had bitten me. So uh, I'll have to keep an eye on it just in case you get a bullseye. Uh, you can't be too careful with it. But uh, hopefully it'll be okay. So I've just been walking along talking to a young man from uh, Wales this time doing uh, Land's End to John O'Groves and a uh, nice young lad he's going at a great pace um, I think when he's done on the Pennine Way he's going to go across and do the West Highland Way and Great Glen Way um, as part of his journey best of luck to him and uh, my deepest admiration because uh, he's unsupported, he's got a massive pack on and uh, can't be easy, can't be easy come on
Oh, it's turned out nice today. Peaceful day. It's warm, sunny, light breeze. <laughs> Slightly stronger than a light breeze at times, but it's really nice. Um, we've been walking around a big reservoir, and I just don't know what it's called, if I'm honest. Um, but we're starting to go up now and uh, make our way. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, make our way over to these hills now through the marshes again. Um, my stone path. I mean, don't be fooled. These stone paths, they're not perfect, and often they're flooded, and you might have to go round them and things. But uh, they certainly do help a great deal. Um, it's a glorious day, and I'm really enjoying it today. It's quite a short one as well. I think we're going to Poulton. I think it's called. Probably pronouncing it wrong as I do with most of these things. Um, but anyway, let's crack on. It's a uh, lovely scenery. We've gained a bit of height now. That's uh, I would imagine if the clag was in. Come on, love, let's go. I would imagine with the clag in, it could be pretty bleak up here. But uh, but it's not, and it's sunny. So it's beautiful. And a spot to uh, have a rest, and there's a bench up here. <laughs> Car is here, yeah, she's pulling. She obviously thinks there'll be people with food. had to sit down and my legs don't want to start moving now so this uh, derelict come here building here is the farmhouse associated with Wuthering Heights um, made famous from the Kate Bush song <laughs> I'm only joking I know it's a novel <laughs> uh, let's see I'll, I'll let's have a look at this This farmhouse has been associated with Wuthering Heights, the Ernest, sorry, Earnshaw home in Emily Bronte's novel. The building, even when complete, bore no resemblance to the house she described, but the situation may have been in her mind when she wrote of the moorland setting of the Heights, uh, 1964. Uh, so basically people think that this is the farmhouse, but it isn't uh, and it's got absolutely nothing to do with Wuthering Heights whatsoever But it makes it a little bit famous <laughs> But a uh, nice building anyway Just take a look at where I'm camping, Pond and Mill campsite. Look. How oh, might Dillick is that? So I'm gonna uh, get all my stuff set up in the tent and take a shower, and I'll speak to you all soon.